And that was the case for a lot of folks, even in Winston-Salem, Clemens, Louisville. They got in their fireworks, the little pavement and damp there and a rainbow in Mount Airy too in the background there at the end of downtown on the street there. Winston-Salem too, the heavy thunderstorms brought in, you know, sometimes some gusty winds, heavy downpours. We thought maybe we would see some hail, but fortunately no major severe threats except for a couple of spots from Dobson as we went south and east. Also some reports over the Danville area where they had uh, very heavy rains early this morning. And, you know, we have seen those one to three inch rainfall totals where you had the heaviest of thunderstorms, especially Asheboro. They got clobbered with thunderstorms early afternoon before things really picked up to the west. One of the reasons is all these storms were overhead within the last few hours. Those storms rolling aloft, helping to produce that lift. The thunderstorms right now, this is what's left. We've got them over Independence moving east now, anywhere from five to 10 miles an hour and over Galax. These will start to wind down. So that low, that spin starting to move out. And that's what we need for things to wind down through early tomorrow morning. Lots of lightning reports to not only the death in South Carolina and the many folks injured as they were trying to get out of the water there, but we're looking at thunderstorms creating, you know, damage to homes. This was struck a home. We also had a report from a viewer up in the Danville area from those storms this morning that it may have struck their water pump. So definitely something to think about. Not a time to be running to and from the car doing errands. Uh, you want to be inside your vehicle, though, if you are going to be caught in a thunderstorm and have no else to go if you're out in the fields or you know hanging out and doing some cooking out or at the pools make sure you're getting indoors quickly you're in the 70s now and temperatures tomorrow morning again in the low 70s we're expecting to see 91 today but tomorrow just a touch cooler than that it will take you down a few degrees doesn't necessarily make you feel better though because we've got a heat index to talk about this is the combination of humidity and temperatures those afternoon highs reaching into the low 90s in some spots, especially east in Burlington. But look at this, feels like temperatures near 90 by around 11 a.m. in Burlington. You may feel more like 95 to 96 in Greensboro, 97 in Asheboro for your forecast heat indices. We had that upper 90s today in Mount Airy too. So tomorrow and then on Saturday, look at this, 100 degrees for feels like temperatures late afternoon, holding on to that heat through six and seven o'clock. Unless you've got a thunderstorm rolling through, you're going to be very uncomfortable. So showers and thunderstorms will be in the mix. By Monday, we do see a drop in the heat indices. Temperatures come down too, back into the mid and upper 80s. But storm chances don't necessarily roll out that quickly. You're at 71 degrees tomorrow morning in Winston-Salem and Greensboro at 87 for an afternoon high. Notice where storm chances go higher by three o'clock. We'll hold on to those thunderstorm possibilities through late evening. And until we can get some of those waves to roll through, those storms may not wind down very quickly. One or two a.m. Mountain temperatures from 60 to near 78 and rain chances there also at 70%. Your thunderstorms very active as we go through late afternoon and into the evening hours.